Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Civil here, and welcome back to another video. So, I'm going to begin with the fight against uh, Enchantress. I'm going to use Puppet of Zatanna, Mr. Freeze, and I'm not sure I do have the damage here, but I guess we'll see. I should have it, but I'm not sure. Gonna try something new. So, you know how you get uh, straight to max power as soon as you trigger infinite power? And using super moves while in infinite power actually consumes power. Because previously I would want to get some stacks before getting into infinite power. But now I'm going to attempt to just not worry about the stacks. And try to get them via super moves uh, after I get into infinite power. But we should lose it as soon as she leaves the freezing area. So if she gets frozen again, we should get it back up. Okay, she's frozen, but no infinite power. Still no infinite power, though I think applying one more negative effect should do it. Come on, man. I think what I should do, actually, is first stack up a lot of negative effects and then try and go into infinite, uh, into super moves. Yet again, I'm out of infinite power, though now it should be chill, because we have increased power generation. Come on, come on, don't lose it. There we go. Just try to apply a lot of negative effects on her. And I'm already at 30 stacks, so I don't need to worry about that at all. I only need to worry about not forgetting about the Red Hood Super move. Bro, what's the what's the crit resistance on her? Every single crit I do, almost every single crit was resisted. Yeah, I don't think I got this. It's getting too many crits resisted. I mean, it's going well in terms of damage, but we don't have that much time left. Also, I need to remind myself that if I press the special 2 button harder, it's not going to do more damage. So many crits resisted, man. Yeah, we might kill her. I think we do this. Because we also have the right to the extension that I haven't used so far. And maybe even without that. Though it will be a close one without it. Nah, just do it now. He's also going to do super move, which is fine. And now let's hope the 36 seconds we got now are going to be enough. Get closer. Again, getting so much crit resistance. There we go. I'm gonna actually look again at the boss modifiers. She either has, has some high base crit resistance or has a modifier that makes her have a high crit resistance. But yeah, that's that's an unholy amount of crits being resisted. Let me take a look. No, she doesn't have any modifier. It might be high crit resistance because of Enchantress having it weird. Okay, so this man has fortified, and the Batman Ninja team does not bypass that because they don't reduce armor anymore because Grod is bugged, and the defense reduction from Grod does absolutely nothing. But I think Joe Pride's bet rings are going to make me strong enough to kind of bypass that and not care about it. Though mm, the, the damages are kind of low at the moment. That doesn't look too hopeful, actually. Actually, it's good. It's good. We haven't even activated Joker Eyes Bat Rings and the damage looks fine. Okay, now it's active. The poison effect to that is. Yeah, we're going to easily kill this man. 
This is the only place where I could justify the Batman Ninja team. That was th that third special was a bit too fast. I should take my time and do more basics. But yeah, this was the only place where I could justify using the Batman Ninja team. Uh, because uh, the other bosses have uh, that dumb lethal resistance for some reason. Our third special. Got a super move, that's fine. Trying to push him back to the corner. Yeah, pretty straightforward fight. And the only fight where I actually have access to lethal. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, so a decision that I'm most likely going to come to regret. I'm going to use Kim Flan Sakuman here. I have Crown of Conduct at level 5 on him. And I have Firebox on Dr. Fate for the ease of an infinite combo. And um, uh, Flash is going to carry the level 3 sides. I have Flash here because fast tech hits are good with Crown because we're going to have an easier time getting to that threshold of hits required for power rebounds. This is power refoundable, by the way. But no power refounds. Rip. And now I have heard this argument before. Some people say that it's counterproductive to have Dr. Fates with a crown teammate. Because you're going to consume power bar less. No! You're going to consume power bars at the same at the absolute same pace. The only difference is that your specials are gonna cost less, so for the same amount of power bars, you're gonna be able to use more specials. But the amount of power bars that you consume are going to be the same. Overall. Okay, we should be fine here. This is impossible to call refund. And I'm already at full stacks, and I think right now I'm at full stacks with Crown as well. And from now on, she should not be able to hit me. At all. Come on, please. there we go. Power refund, that's nice. That's absolutely lovely. And we flash for in range for our power refund. Oh, this is lovely. It's fine. That was not in range for a power refund, sadly. It's also reliant a bit on luck with the hits you get, as you can still miss the fast attack hits. Power refund. Absolutely lovely. And another one. Oh, she's not really dying. I would appreciate if she would be a bit faster when it comes to dying. Because we're kind of running out on time of time. Come on. Nah, she's not gonna die. I, I told you I'll regret using this thing. Yes, it's simply not enough damage. Simply not enough damage here. Well, that sucks. It's okay, you guys are just not gonna get the bonus fight when we go back and kill Joker. That's that's off the menu now. Impossible. Wait for it tomorrow. I'm gonna do a quick cleanup here with Manta, get some revenge for King not have not pulling enough damage. I should be getting revenge on King, my dude, not on Superhero. She wasn't even that annoying in the previous fights. But yeah, let's let's go. This should be finished shortly.
Yeah, I should have used Manta here. Like, Manta's absolutely destroying her, and we haven't even uh, activated the special two. The Joker has better damage, I mean, by that, the poison effect. Yeah, just look at this. Easy cleanup. Let's move on. Not really gonna use the uh, League of Anarchy Raven at anything, anyway, so I might as well just uh, drop them on this unsuspecting man's head and see how it goes. Though I don't know how much health we have on Batman the Drowned. Because my plan is to use my own Batman the Drowned with God Killer and just kill her off. Because we get a lot of damage buff during that fight. With God Killer there's not gonna be any risk of dying, so I don't care about the debuffs. But there's a limit to how much damage we can do, and uh, we might be uh, a bit past that limit. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, no, no need to stun here. The special 2 is disabled, by the way. I, I just noticed, but it, it doesn't make a difference. I think I did not need to stun even by just using Harley without Raven in here. But yeah, let's move on to the last fight of the video. Okay, boys, 300 mil health. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. We have a level 3 and level 1 sight to power us with passive stats, but it's still a bit much. Though we'll see how it goes. It's not impossible, and yet again, don't underestimate the power of the buffs you're going to get from uh, Batman the Drowned during the duration of the fight. Bro, during the duration. English 101 with Sigvald here. We get a weakness, that's fine. And we get the damage buff. Nah, bro, 6.9 before super move. This will be absolutely easy. I mean, we didn't even do super move, and we're already at the perfect value. What more could you ask for? Okay, super move and tag out. Not risking it. Though, I, I, I definitely could have risked it. I definitely could have risked it. Nine point four, that's fine. And is nine point seven after one additional buff. Oh, I messed up. Do I come going drop to throw out the panic? So we're fine. And this should be the last required activation. We're at 10 mil per second. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Not not even close. I don't know why, why I was worrying about it. There we go, boys. Batman the Drowned is down. So tune in tomorrow to see the most annoying third, uh, third or fourth. No, nah, it's fourth tier bosses in existence. Or tune in later today because that's what I'm fighting on my secondary accounts. And the reward, of course. Let's take a look at the reward. Oh boy, would you take a look at those amazing rewards that we got. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!